Hi there. Welcome to session one of the uh, build up to doing splits. So today is front splits and each session is eight minutes. So um, if you follow this three times in the first week, so this is week one, session one, and it's eight minutes. So first of all, we start by lunging and we're just lunging with our back knee down. So stepping the right foot forward and we're just holding for 20 seconds. So I will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Step back and step the opposite foot forward. Then if you want to, you've got a cushion or a a uh, rolled up towel or a jumper to rest the back knee on. And again, stepping the opposite foot forward, 20 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. And then opposite foot forward again. This time, if we can, doesn't matter if we can't, we're taking the back leg, the back knee off the floor. So we're going into a deep lunge. We always want to make sure that the knee isn't foot more forward than the ankle in front. You can have a hand resting on the wall or your hands on your hips. We're holding again for 20 seconds. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then we take our back knee down. So this is part two of the first stretch. So now the back knee down, hands on the floor or hands on the hips or resting on the thigh. And this time we press our back knee in to the floor and we hold, pressing in. One, two, three, four, five. Then relax, so just draw the hips back slightly. Forward again and press the back knee in. One, two, three, four, five. Bring the knee back again and forward. Press the back knee into the floor. One, two, three, four, five. One more. Release back, relax and forward again. You can have something under your back knee, but you still, what we're doing is contracting the hip flexor, the back hip flexor, by pressing our knee into the floor. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. So now, stepping the opposite foot forward, and then we're lifting the back knee off the floor. Try to walk your toes, front toes a little bit forward. Turn right, the back leg toes under, lift the back leg off the floor. So this is supposed to be straight, but don't worry if it isn't. Then lunge and hold 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and bring the back knee down. So have that cushion in for your back knee. Then we do the contraction again. So here, we're pressing our back knee in, holding five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Relax and release. Forward again, press that back knee in to contract this hip flexor. One, two, three, four, 
five, release back, forward again, one, two, three, four, five, release back, so two more, press the back knee in, one, two, three, four, five, and back, and one more, press the back knee in, lunge forward, one, two, three, four, five, and release. Now we need a chair for stretching out the hamstring strings. We've stretched out our hips. Now we need to stretch out the hamstring strings. Can't say it properly. So left leg on the chair and push your heel away, toes towards the face, just leaning forward. And we're holding again 20 seconds. One, two, three, four. So if you want to, you can go forward a bit more. Try and keep your chest forward, looking forward. Five, six, seven, increase maybe. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, maybe a little bit more. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And lift up slowly and change sides. So opposite heel on the chair, toes towards the face, maybe drawing the kneecaps up, chest forward, and going forward. So only go so you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. You can walk down a little bit more with both hands or have one hand on the wall beside you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a little bit forward, seven, eight, nine. 10, more forward if you feel it's okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And change legs. So the same kind of movement. This time we're pressing our heel into the chair. So the lifted heel, and we're holding for those five seconds. So press the heel in, one, two, three, four, five, relax. So four more, forward again, try and lift the chest forward, press the heel in, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Press the heel in, forward again, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Press forward again, press the heel in. This helps to contract the hamstrings better. Press that heel in, one, two, three, four, five. And lift up slowly, remove the leg, shake out the leg, opposite side. So pressing your heel in, leaning forward, contract that hamstring, one, two, three, four, five. Relax, three more, forward again, chest forward, one, press the heel in, two, three, four, five, lift up, two more, forward, heel in, toes towards the face, one, two, three, four, five, lift up, and one more, one, two, three, four, five and lift up slowly shake out so now we do the final stretch which is see how far we can go in the front split so i've got the chair at the side of me with my hands on the chair i'm stepping my left foot forward and then i'm pressing my left heel forward keep lifted and we're going to hold for so what i'm doing here is holding five seconds here again but i'm trying to press my front heel into the floor and my back knee into the floor. So lifting tall, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe going forward a bit. Press the heel in, press the back knee in. One, two, three, four, five. Relax a bit, maybe take the hips back, then the front knee, straight leg again. Press the heel in, maybe slide your heel a bit more forward. One, 
two, three, four, five. Relax. Then see if you can bring the hands either side of your foot and slide the. This is the full as far as you can go. So one, press your heel in, press the back knee in, two, three, four, five. And maybe just look down, see how far away you are from the floor with that leg forward in this front split. And then we're changing sides. So opposite foot forward, starting gentle. We want to press the heel onto the floor, toes up towards the face. So pressing that back knee, knee in and pressing the front heel in. One, two, three, four, five. Relax, heel a bit more forward. Press the back knee in, heel in. One, two, three, four, five. A bit more. Squeeze the knee in, squeeze the heel in. One, two, three, four, five. And then see if you can come forward. Maximum stretch. Heel in, toes towards the face, back knee in. One, two, three, four, five. And then just go forward a bit more if you can. And notice if you're closer to the floor on this side. Okay, and lift up slowly. And that is first session, week one. So it might take four weeks, it might take eight weeks. Aim to do that, those stretches, three times a week. So tomorrow I'll do uh, session two, which is side split, week one. Okay, so hope you enjoyed and uh, might see you tomorrow if you fancy trying the side splits, but I'll do them. Maybe if the front splits another time. Hi, calf. Hope you enjoyed. Nice stretching and see you soon. Bye.